goal now. A third and goal, I should say, from the five. Shotgun for Spellacetti. Looking back, pressure's on. Completes it to Fiorini, but he has to spin back towards the middle. Loses the tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. What a move by Fiorini. He was seemingly caught at the five, and he spun out of the tackle for the score. Right up the gut, knock a couple of people over. As you can see on the year, three touchdowns over uh, four yards a carry on 58, 58 carries, so he definitely does a good job of getting Cortland those couple of yards that they always need, especially down here in the goal line situation. Low to the ground, 5'11", 225, the senior from Medina, New York. Second and five. Handoff, and he's in. Stalker on a little misdirection play, and the fullback snuck away from the defense for the score. Look at him packed in in the stands. Everybody bundled up in a bit of a chilly fall afternoon. Tutwiler rolling out to the far side, rolling against the green, looking into the end zone, complete touchdown! Beautifully thrown pass to 24, Neil Geaton Jr., and another score for Cortland. Tutwiler doing a great job, as usual, buying himself time. Both quarterbacks so mobile, able to do so many things. Great throw on, yeah, excuse me, great throw on the run by Tutwiler, as he was able to just keep eyeing and eyeing and eyeing the defense, looking for an open man. Finally was able to find Heaton Jr. in the end zone. Another sidearm pass from Tutwiler. It seems to be becoming one of his favorite passes to run here lately, and he's been very effective with it. Heaton Jr. is the son of Neil Heaton, who played uh, baseball in the major leagues. And so he's got a famous dad and trying to make himself famous here on Cortica Jug Saturday. Tutwiler back to pass. He's got multiple receivers. Fires it down the field, and it is... Incomplete. Marzullo did catch the ball, but he was out of bounds, and the official's right on top of it. And so it may be a field goal situation here. Cortland State thought they would try that play one more time. It almost worked the play before. Comes awfully close again. Marzullo able, to, as you said, to get the ball. Justin Daly, good pursuit right He's there. He's out of bounds. Yep, no he is bounds. clearly out of bounds making that catch, but still an awfully nice catch by Joe Marzullo. Great concentration, but just a little too far out. So here comes Ostmeyer. The kicker, senior, 5'10", 175, and a good one from Islip, New York. This one will be from 35 yards. It's down. Kick is up. It looks like it's got the distance, and it's good, right down the pipe. So a big field goal there for Portland as they make that drive count, running some clock and getting the score. No doubt about the kick on that one by Osmeyer. Just put it right through, able to uh, get Cortland some good points out of that drive. So Beecher will boot it. They're going to spot this one about the 17. It's going to be a 27-yarder, but it is from the hash, the far hash mark. Let's take a look at Beecher. Puts it up. It's got the distance. Yes, just over the crossbar. When I say it had the distance, it just had the distance. Yeah, not much more than that. I'm not sure if... Uh... I couldn't quite tell. It didn't look like anyone got a hand on it, but just enough for Beecher. Well, 16-10, so now it's a one-score ball game. All right, back at the 2002 Cortica Jug, Jim Lurch along with John Tagliarini, and uh, this one is going right down to the wire, John. Here we go. A big play for Ithaca. Third and three. Right at the goal line. Handoff. Celebre twisting, spinning, and he will not get it. He is stopped at about the two-yard line. So the Cortland State defense comes up big, and now do you kick the field goal or do you go for it? This is a, uh, definitely going to be an interesting call by the Bomber coaching staff. Six and a half minutes to go. Do you trust your defense to stop them again? Celebre looked like he had some room, but it got closed up awfully quickly by the Cortland State. Uh, They're going to go, it looks like. Yep. Wow. So Ithaca putting it all on the line here at the Cortland Jug. Still plenty of time to go, but 6.20 and counting. Fourth and goal, and they're trailing by six. It's a full house backfield. They will hand it off. Celebre diving for the end zone. He didn't get it. He is stopped short. Stopped short, and they're celebrating on the Red Dragon sideline and in the stands. Tried to dive it over the top, didn't make it. Yeah, Celebre looked like he was getting, looked like he maybe made that jump a tad bit too early, but still a good eye. Uh, trying to just try and get over that pile. The Cortland State defense did a good job stacking up the Bomber offense and uh, able to deny them on what could be one of the biggest plays in this football game, although now Cortland certainly in a rough spot. We're getting a look at Celebre. He looked like he had a hole Ooh, right there, but he got off. turned. Number three, a huge play, and that's Micah Kurt spun him. Watch him get spun. Yeah, good job on Ooh. the spin. Todd Goodwin also closing the hole for the Red Dragons, so kind of a group effort there to stop him. All right, first and goal right inside the 10. Felicetti option, nice little pitch. So, uh, Celebre gets the seven-yard line, and he's piled out of bounds right there, so we'll pick up with about three yards on the play. 
stood up on that play by, uh, I believe it was Bramhoff stepping, uh, stake, getting a uh, stopping Celebre on the play. Celebre has been the workhorse, and let's watch him again here on a little quick option. Pitch was a little low, handled it nicely. But it was just met and tossed out of bounds, nearly a face mask down. And let's uh, send it down really quick to Doug Wright. Doug? Well, that running back Celebre last time off the field, he was bleeding profusely. That a bandage up his thumb, so look out for that. He's back out there, of course. Second and seven at the uh, second and goal to seven, and look out! Felicetti running for his life and manages maybe to get back to the line of scrimmage, and so this is going to bring up a huge third down play. Micah Kurtz doing a good job on that play. He was the one that got Felicetti out and uh, made him run on that play. Adam DiPietro that we see in there, a senior, 5'11", 255 from Troy, New York, doing the job on defense. Does Cortland State have one more defensive stand in its uh, arsenal? 237 at counting. Some big plays coming up here for the Ithaca Bombers. Second and goal on the seven. Felicetti looking to the near side, doesn't have a receiver, scrambling for his life. Look out, he's got some space out there, still looking, still looking. Now he's going to take it himself, and he will not get away. What a great short tackle in the open field, shedding the blocker. The Cortland defender, and he gets to the five, and this is going to bring up a fourth down. Couldn't quite tell, Jim, who was the defender on that play. Bramhoff and uh, Micah Kurtz both in the neighborhood on that play. Fellow said he's certainly doing a good job trying to just buy himself some him, time huh? as he went to both sidelines on the, ended up running, and it is... Uh, it was Bramhoff yeah. fighting off the block. What a great play by Bramhoff. Play. Eric Bramhoff, the strong safety. It's a grad student here, six foot two, twenty-one from Sag Harbor, New York. What a great job of shedding the block and keeping him contained because he was it. It was him in the goal line. Yeah. And you see the timeouts left now. Ithaca has expended its final timeout, so they're down to none. Portland still with two. So you might as well say that this right now might be the game. Fourth down and goal. Two oh two to go. Oh, if Ithaca doesn't, doesn't do anything here, they're not going to be able to stop Portland State at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Maybe one run up the middle, that's about it. So as it does every year, it seems, doesn't it? It comes right comes down, down to the yep. end of the game, these two teams scrapping it out. The last couple of years, it's always been that final whistle. It's been that final play. Cortland, a year ago, had a play to try and uh, get themselves into the end zone. Two years ago here, it was the exact same thing. Ithaca had to make a stop on a fourth down. Uh, with uh, time running down, same thing happened the year before. So this is exactly what you would expect. Right. I don't think if they are able to put it in the end zone, this one's over with uh, two no. minutes to go, and uh, either a tie or a one-point ball game. There's still going to be plenty of football to play. But if the guy has the work cut out for them, the Bombers fourth and goal. They'll mark it just outside the six-yard line. It's all or nothing here in the 2002 Cortica Jug. And both sidelines, both fans on their feet. Fellas said he's going to work shotgun with four receivers. Back to pass. He sends it back out as well. He has some time. Rolling to the far side. Running out of time. Heaves it into the end zone. Broke it up. The Cortland defense stands. Led by number 28, Ron Stewart. Knocked that pass away. A couple of plays ago, we saw Ron Stewart walking off the field. Comes up with probably the biggest play of this game as far as the Cortland State defense is concerned. The defensive line getting the pressure, making Felicetti throw before he was ready. And just a great job. As here we get another look at it. Felicetti looking, trying to find somebody open. Some pressure coming up from a couple of defenders as uh, it was to DiPietro and Galateri. And then just the defensive secondary doing the job along with Todd Goodwin and one of the linebackers in the end zone, knocking the ball away. Uh, it's still not over, folks. Still not over. 29 seconds to go, and they're punting this one from inside their own end zone. Tutwiler, need to get away a good punt here. Look out, he's rolling out. What's happening here? He's going to take oh, a safety. Oh, he's going to take the safety and run some time off the clock. So now 21 seconds, 21.1 left on the clock here, and he'll take the safety, and that'll make it 16-12, and now they'll be able to kick it away from more comfortable range. One thing you got to do is you got to at least make sure that if you're going to make this a two-play situation or a three-play situation, you get a first down if you throw the ball or that the guy gets out of bounds on a pass play. Yeah, exactly. Because you'll have a key. couple of plays here, two, maybe three. Back to pass. Looking, looking, has to run it. Look out, he's not going to get the first down, and it's down at the 45-yard line, and that's going to be it. The clock will expire. They will not be able to line up in time to doubt it. And this Cortica jug is all over. Portland State celebrating. The Red Dragons have regained the cup.
The Red Dragons doing a great job on that play, Jim. They forced Josh Belosetti to run it. They're able to knock him down. Like you mentioned, Cortland, or Ithaca, excuse me, had to get out of bounds, had to stop it. They couldn't do it. And this is the result. Cortland gets the jug. All right, well, let's go down with the guy who was certainly key in the victory, Doug Wrights, with the quarterback, J.J. Tutwiler. Doug? All right, thanks a lot, Jim. J.J., the defense bailed you guys out at the end. It's a couple of great stands by your defense. Oh, they played a hell of a game today. I couldn't believe it. These guys, like this guy right behind me, 55, and wow, our whole defensive line, they played a hell of a game. They stepped it up just when we needed to at the end, they, and they, they secured the victory for us. All, all hats off to Ithaca, though. They played a hell of a game coming back. How great does it feel to win the jug? It's my first one. It's unbelievable. I can't even describe it. I mean... <sighs> I'm definitely going to remember this one. Thank you, JJ! Congratulations, JJ. Thank you very much. Great win for Cortland. The winning coach. All right. All right, thanks a lot, Jim. Coach McNeil. Boy, you got any fingernails? Well, you're wearing gloves. You probably weren't biting your nails down no. the stress. That <laughs> was pretty exciting, wasn't it? That was a classic Cortica jug. It was a clash of two titans. Ithaca is to be congratulated. It was just a tremendous football game. It came right down to taking a safety at the end so that we could, uh, you know, could finish the thing out knowing that they didn't have any timeouts left. Your defense made two tremendous stands late against the Bombers. I mean, they had the ball first and goal two times in a row, and the, you kept them out of there. That's what won the game. <laughs> That's what won the game. There's no question about it. They came up with a great stand and had to come right back out right again after, you know, we kind of let them have a little bit more in that punt return than we would have liked to. And the defense had to come out right back after three three plays off and, and do it again. And they did it. And you're not done yet. This means possible NCAA tournament if things work the right way. Yeah, I think the NCAA should certainly take a look at this game. I mean, this is two titans in the East. Uh, uh, it, one of these teams should definitely be in the NCAA tournament. I, I certainly hope it's us. I mean, obviously, we came out on top, and it should be us. All right, thanks a lot, Coach McDaniel. Appreciate Thank it. You. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you.